This video is presented for general education and information purposes. The experiments suggested in this video are intended to be done under the supervision of an appropriate adult, such as a parent or teacher. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back to Kelly Space. My name is Kelly and today we're going to be uncovering the science of liquid fireworks. For liquid fireworks, we're going to need whole milk, liquid dish soap, food coloring, Q-tips, and a shallow container. Okay, the first step, we're going to put the milk in the container. Like that. Step two is you're going to put your food coloring in your milk. Now, the more food coloring you have, the better the explosion is going to be. I only have four colors, but if you have more, use more. We'll start with blue first. Now here's where it gets fun. Dip your Q-tip in your soap. Rewind and slow it down. What's actually happening here? The food coloring is less dense than the fatty milk, so it'll actually float on top of the milk without mixing. When the Q-tip with dish soap is added, the bubbly molecules will race to dissolve all the fat molecules, like it does for grease when it's used to wash dishes. Using the food coloring, we see a typically invisible process illustrated in an awesome explosion of colors, liquid fireworks. This is why milk with a higher fat content produces a better explosion of color. There's just more fat to combine with all those soap molecules. That was pretty fun, right? Thanks for stopping by. Join us next time when we make toothpaste for your elephants. Thanks for learning with me. See ya.